Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and uh, we got all the stuff in we were supposed to get today. Even sooner, we, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 came in early, the Mi A3 is here, the Redmi Note 8 is here, and of course we have the Rinky case that we're going to put on the Redmi Note 8. That's what we're unboxing. Let's get right to the intro and go to the first segment. All right, folks, as I said, the uh, all everything came in. We've got the DJI Osmo back here. We've got the Mi A3, which uh, is looking good. It came with an adapter, so it probably has a foreign adapter in it. And then the Redmi Note 8 over here, along with its own adapter, and the Rinky Fusion X case down here, which is going to go back on the back of the Redmi Note 8. So let's do the unbox on the Redmi Note 8 first, and I'll be right back after I've cleared all the other stuff. Up. All right, folks, there it is. Tonight's target for unboxing. The Redmi Note 8. This one comes to us from Indonesia, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, but my Mi A2 came from, I don't know, uh, the Philippines, I think, and it was fine. So, we're going to get the uh, plastic wraps off of this and get right down to the full unboxing moment of truth. Get all that beautiful cellophane off. It's been a long time since I unboxed one of these fine products. In other words, a brand new smartphone. Brand spanking new, folks. So, we're gonna look and see if there's any seals here. I don't think there is. There isn't. Uh, so, we're just gonna shake it a bit. And we're gonna try to get it open here. Oh, yeah. Well, Redmi Note 8, bloody hell, that's bright, white, isn't it? All right, let's lay that down, and let's check out and see what's in the box. First things first, we have our little case here full of accessories of one sort or another. We're gonna open that up real quick and check out and see what we got inside. Damn. And, oh, pretty cool. God, if I paid attention to how the box was put together, I'd have figured this out on the first try. Yeah. So, inside the box here, what have they sent us? Well, we got our SIM tool right there. And uh, we have a nice, uh, clear, soft TPU case for it. Uh, we're going to go with the Ranky, though. And uh, they have our little instruction manual here. And... Uh, well, it's completely written in Indonesian, so I couldn't tell you what it says. But let's continue moving on and progressing. And of course, that clear TPU case will save that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice case, folks. It's not bad. I mean, at least they include one. It's got all the right cutouts, obviously. So let's get the, this gizmo out of the box. And see what else we got in here. Hmm. We'll just set the phone over there for a second. And what do we got here? We've got a, a charger. And we're going to check out our volts and amperes. Uh, 
Output is five volts at two amps, folks. Not exactly a super fast charger, but that's what we got. Up here, we're gonna have our USB-C cable, I believe. And it is indeed a USB-C cable. And that's pretty much gonna end everything in the box. Mm -hmm. So if I can get it to go back in there, I'm a retard. Yeah, we'll get her back in there. We'll put this back down. And we'll get the rest of the box out of the way over here, along with the rest of the pile of stuff it came with. And let's get the wrapper off of this and check out. It's nothing fancy on the wrapper, folks. It's just a thin little bag, which I find to be rather refreshing. So we're gonna take that bag off and it does have a micro SD card slot and two nano sims. You can see the quad camera placement up there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove these decals. I believe if they come off, there may be a layer we can peel here. I don't think so. Please do not insert non-standard SIM cards. Uh, we don't know what that means, but we're going to get these labels off real quick so you can see the back of this thing and do your oohs and ahs and all that. It is a pretty good looking phone, i got to admit that. Oh, we got a bit of a purple glow at the bottom and around the edges. Lights right up. Yeah, don't get used to it. You're not going to be able to see it very shortly. Now we're going to peel off that front piece of coverage. Get rid of that. And there you have it, folks. We've got a Redmi Note 8. We'll have to see how we fare once we fire it up and check it out. We've got the rear fingerprint reader. we got our 48 megapixel camera. Uh, we have a wide angle lens on this. And we have a macro in addition to uh, the standard uh, depth sensor. So that's it, folks. Let's, let's fire it up and see what we get. See if there's any juice in here. And if it comes up in English, even. Here we go. Redmi Note 8, and it should come up and say, yeah, no, no SIM card. Yeah, and go into the setup menu, and we'll have to deal with it from them. All right, it's got MIUI 11 on it, yay. So we're going to have to go from there. So I'm going to get this thing set up. We'll be back as soon as that's occurred. And I'm going to charge the battery up full on it, and we'll go from there. Uh, and I have to find where the power switches are on the side here. They're, they're in a good position. I mean, let's face it, I'm going to set this down without a case, but this is just about perfect, the fingerprint placement for me. So this is not as big a phone as I thought it was. We'll be right back, folks, after this short interruption for setting her up. Okay, folks, we're back. Now we're going to put the rinky case on this. I charged it for a little while. Uh, just using my old Alcatel charger. But let's get the rinky case out. This is the Fusion X, and we're reading them instructions now. I gotta remove a protective layer in here. It says from the inside, when I can find a place to peel it. I'm gonna remove the rear 
film from the rinky. The front film, which seems to be awfully worn and peeled off, and we're gonna yank that sun of each other. And there we go, folks. And our rinky case is ready to go onto the brand new phone here. So let's uh, get her slid in here. Bottom first. Following normal order, followed by uh, our good friend over at my project 13. I'm going to slide her on in there. Then we're going to. Uh, Oh yeah, she fits good. We're gonna work our way up and around. Get the buttons in there. Gonna force her down and around. She snapped in, folks. We're good. We are good. And I got the friends been set up on here. And there we go. And yeah, you can still see the pretty back along with all the fingerprints I left on it, which I should have cleaned up first, but I didn't. Oh, well. Uh, point is, we're good now. We got some good protection in the corners. All our ports are down here. Our speaker, our headphone jack, our microphone, and our USB-C charging port are right there. And uh, at the top, and I have our uh, IR blaster and our other microphone right up there. So all that being said and done, uh, we're going to move on and see if I can figure out how to get my... I've got the SD card in it, but it just refuses to format as internal storage. I don't know if this is a MIUI thing or what it is, but it's one of them. And I have a bunch of apps to download. I really wish I could activate the uh, system tray on this. Apparently, it doesn't have one, or if it does, I don't know how to get to it. At least. No, I, I just don't. I like the fact it does have the buttons, and that button's right down here. Good to go with those. So, and I hooked right up to my uh, Wi Fi here. So we're good on that. And we're out to the net using, you know, the Mi A2's hotspot. So I'll be right back in a few minutes again. All right, folks, last segment, I promise. You'll now notice, oh, I have an after with dark mode. How did that happen? If you're looking at Nova Launcher Prime, folks, you are not looking at the me UI. I hated that thing from the moment. No after. Put stuff in after. Get the crap off. The screen you don't need, and I got uh, a few other things I noticed with this thing. <laughs> Obviously, fingerprint reader works super fantastical. And you get a nice click, and when you lock it, you get another click. Now, you're not going to be able to hear those, but I can hear. Touch screen things. Cool. I am going to leave the stock wallpaper on there for a while until I figure out what to replace it with. Uh, other than that, it's a great phone. It works well. It actually is not 
nearly as large as I had envisioned it. So, all that being said and done, and the rinky case, huge amount of protection. We'll get back with some camera stuff, maybe tomorrow. Right now, we're just happy that damn thing works. And we're on. LTE at AT&T, folks. So, it is an international edition. And, set up didn't take too long. I plugged it into my Alcatel uh, high-speed charger. And it charged up, I don't know, 30% in an hour or two. I have not bothered to put <laughs> this gizmo on the back because right now we want to stick to uh, what we can do. This case is fantastic, by the way. Those, the depth here. There's no way those cameras will ever touch. And, whoa, I don't know how that happened, but, uh, boom. Phone's fast. Uh, install stuff well, the hotspot runs good. And, I'm gonna try to get this up a little. Initial impressions worth your money. It was like 182 bucks, folks. Plus tax title, dealer prep, and all the other crap that goes with it. Uh, so, you tell me. I think it's a good phone. Uh, the screen does get really bright. But until we go outdoors and test it, we're not going to know. And I'll shoot some video with it tomorrow once I figure out that whole camera thing. There's far too many settings in there to get through this in one evening. But, gotta love it. Gotta love the fact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that. Huh. You just gotta love the fact. That you can the rinky case rocks, but the fact you can just pick it up and do this and whatever you need to do with it. Oh can okay. uh, that wanna power up? I don't want to power up. Uh, but let's say it was locked. It's not that big a phone. Uh, um, I thought the notch was going to annoy the living piss out of me. But what's really annoying me right now is not being able to get the SD card. It sees it. I mean, it will format it but it doesn't do it as internal storage. And we're gonna try it again now that we have Nova Launcher on it. Maybe that will fix things. Uh, so that's the end of the night. We're gonna vaporize everything. That's all she wrote. Initial impressions worth your money, damn right. <laughs>